So I went to GameStop today to pick up Mario versus Donkey Kong, and uh, I guess that was a big mistake. Hey guys, maybe around 20 back again. I'm extremely pissed. I just came back from GameStop. I'm extremely upset, so I wanted to come up here and make a video. And I know a lot of you guys may be thinking, why the heck did I go into GameStop when a lot of you guys know how I feel about the company? Every time I go there, it seems like I have a very bad experience. And today, why would I think it would be anything different? But the reason why I went there is because Mario vs. Donkey Kong released today on the Nintendo Switch. And I did not want to download the game. I wanted to get the physical copy of the game because you guys all know the future is coming fast. And it's going to be an all digital uh, gaming here in the near future. You're not going to be able to actually buy physical games in the future. I know a lot of people don't want to believe this. But this is actually going to happen. Pretty soon you're not going to be able to actually buy a physical game. So you might as well get them while you can. And that's what I wanted to do. And I wanted to go to GameStop because my GameStop is dead. It's a ghost town. Not many people go there anymore unless it's like a midnight release. And even them, they're starting to like disappear. They don't really do midnight releases anymore at my local GameStop. So like nobody shops there. I don't even know how this place is still open because like I said, it's a ghost town. So I was like, you know what? I can go in there, have very limited interaction with anyone because I just wanted to get the game and get out of there because no one's there. I didn't want to have to go to Walmart and fight a crowd. So I go to GameStop. <laughs> unfortunately to go get this game and the only one there is the person working behind the register like i said there's nothing no one in the parking lot it's it's just a, an absolute ghost town um go in there and i said hey i'm here to pick up uh you know mario versus donkey kong on the nintendo switch and they're like oh and they start you know typing on the keyboard um did you pre-order it and i'm like no i did not pre-order the game um they're like oh that's gonna be a problem and i'm like why is it a problem? I'm like, it's Mario versus Donkey Kong on the Nintendo Switch. It's not a big release. I don't really know anyone, you know, jumping at the bit to pick this game up. I'm like, your parking lot's completely empty. So what's the problem here? Well, that is a problem. Uh, you know, we thought the same thing. Mario versus Donkey Kong, it's not going to be a really big release. So we didn't really order a bunch of extra copies. We only ordered enough for the pre-order. So like, let's say we only had 10 pre-orders. Um, we were only ordered 10 copies. So unfortunately, if you didn't pre-order the game, we don't have a copy for you. And I'm like, you don't you don't have any extras behind the counter? Like there's no, since when do you not have a few extras for, for customers? Yeah, we, we don't really do that anymore. I'm sorry. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, so I leave and I'm very, very upset. Like that makes no sense. Like Mario, th like them themselves know that not a lot of people are going to be buying this game. Um, so they made sure nobody could buy the game by only ordering exactly enough for the pre-orders. And, you know, that's where you can honestly see just how bad GameStop is failing as a company as a whole. If I mean, if your profit margins are that bad to where it's like, you know what, we have to make sure we sell everything we have in inventory, be, be, you know, that's how bad the business is. So they only order enough. So if only four people pre-ordered the game, they only order four copies. And what makes this even worse, the person behind the counter told me that they're not even going to get any more in. Because I asked them before I left, I said, okay, so tomorrow, are you going to, no, nah, no, nah, um, I don't think we're going to get any more in, unfortunately. We only ordered enough for the pre-orders. I'm like, what in the world is this world coming to? This is so crazy. So so then I go to Walmart. I'm like, okay, I'll just go to Walmart, whatever, man. I'll just go fight the crowd at Walmart, whatever. Walmart's a zoo, okay? You know, the Walmart is never dead. It's always busy. It's like crazy, you know? So I go to Walmart, fighting the crowd. You know, everyone's there to buy all kinds of different things. They're not there for video games. They're there to, you know, grocery shop and stuff. So I go to the electronics section, obviously, and I see the big Mario versus Donkey Kong display, and I see that they don't have any copies. And I'm like, wow, they're sold out here too? This is crazy. But I did notice they have a big stack of like eShop cards that you like you can like buy the game digital and like scratch the code and download the game, I guess, on the eShop. I'm like, I don't want to do that. So I'm like, you know what? This is Walmart. Maybe they have some copies in the back. You know, a lot of the times Walmart's notorious for this. When new games come in, they don't really put them out on the shelf right away. So I was like, you know what, let me get a let me get, you know, get an associate here. So I get a Walmart employee and I said, hey, um, I'm looking for Mario versus Donkey Kong. And they're like, oh, yeah, we're all sold out. And I'm like, 
what? I'm like, that many people came in to buy this? He's like, no, that's the weird thing. We just didn't get a lot. We didn't get a lot of copies of this game. Um, and, you know, we only got like a couple and they're sold out. Which really makes me wonder, like, Nintendo is kind of like, are they behind this? Is Nintendo the one making sure that it's a very limited supply of physical copies that, that kind of like, you know force people to download it digital because we all know it's coming pretty soon you're not going to be able to get physical games in stores you're going to have to just download everything that's where the future is going to and i i went above and beyond today to try to actually get a physical copy of mario versus donkey kong i unfortunately have failed i refuse to download the game i am just going to wait and, until i get a physical copy which is very frustrating because i was going to live stream today and play mario versus donkey kong um, and because I've been looking forward to playing the game, but I'm just, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to fall into Nintendo's trap and you know, they're going to force me to download this stupid game and I'm not going to do it. Uh, I am not going to do it because that's what they want. Nintendo wants us to download their games. I mean, they're higher profit margins, obviously, because you're just downloading data. Um, you know, it doesn't cost them anything to, you know, to manufacture it. So I'm just not doing it. So I wanted to get on here rant about this um gamestop is failing so badly that if only like two people were to pre-order a game they're only going to actually order two copies of the game they refuse to have any extras anymore um at least when it comes to mario versus donkey kong that's what they're doing that is what the employee here at my local gamestop told me they ordered exactly enough for the pre-orders and that's it there, there's no extras which is really dumb. So now, to, is it safe for me to assume that the future of GameStop is if you don't pre-order a game, you're not going to get it? So if you were to go into GameStop and you're like, "Would I, you know, would, how can I help you today, sir?" It's like, "Oh, I'm looking at your collection of games here to see what I want to buy." Oh, sorry, sir. Everything you see on display, you can't get any of it um, because, like I said, these are just empty cases. If you didn't pre-order the game. I can't help you. And it's like, well, this is a store, right? Can I look around and buy something? Nah, nah, sir. Pre-orders only. Uh, we just have a very limited supply. Our inventory is very limited. Um, if you didn't pre-order it, you're SOL. So you're not, you're not getting anything. Is that the future of GameStop? Like, if you don't pre-order it, you can't buy a game? Like, that's crazy. What happened to the day where you can just go into the store, pick a game off the shelf, and buy it? Now you need a pre-order. It's like... That's what they're doing now. That's the future of GameStop. That is the future of GameStop. If you don't pre-order it, you're not going to get it because the company is failing so bad as a whole that uh, if you know there there's not enough. There's not enough in their inventory. They're, they're, you're not going to get anything. That's crazy, man. That's insane. Leave a comment below, guys. Let me know. Is this what your GameStop is doing? Because this is what my local GameStop is doing, and it's just it's just, it's a nightmare. Pretty much all for right now, guys. And as always, there'll be more to come shortly. Thanks again.